Where are you from? Min Asluk. Min Asim. Min Haifa. Originally, I'm from Haifa. Okay. Um, where, where, you're, do you know where in Haifa? Where in Haifa? Do you Okay. I don't know it, but sure. What do you? What does your family tell you about the village? That it's, that it's a very good village and it's known for its khubeza. Khubeza means a kind of plant. Um, do you know if it still exists? I don't think it's still, it's still there. Okay. Do you plan to go back there? To do what? To live someday. Now we can go back to the <laughs> what would what would send me there? What does he want to? How would I? But he would like. Of course I would. Like. Of course. He's a ref. Oh, he's a refugee. How does the clergy? From where? From where? From Zakaria. From Zakaria. Where is he? Here in Bechemish. Okay, near Bechemish. Yes. And what do you? Were you born in that village or? He was born in Dehesha. Okay, what did your parents tell you about that village? What did your parents tell you about Zakaria? They told me that it's a place where it's a place where it's a place That they had lands and they had a house and they used to farm it. What did they farm? What did they farm? They farmed wheat. Olives and barley. Okay. Um, do you know what's on the village today? Is it still there? It's still there, but only a few old houses are still there. The Mukhtar's house and the school and, and the tomb of the Prophet Zakaria is still there. Okay. So you're a refugee from where? He's originally from Akka and okay. he's living in an area called Jeet. Okay. Um, does what do you remember about the about where you're from in Akka? Or what do you know? I know the Jazar Mosque. The old city. The sea. It's a very touristic area. It's, a, it's an old way of living. It's a city that expresses how life was in the past. His family is from the old city in Akka? Yes. Okay. Um, but of course, of course, they left since the days of 1948. Okay. Does he does he hope to go back and live there one day? Did Amal Yamal Ayam to Jal Daishma? Yes, I do hope so. That things go back to the way they used to and even better. We await this day. Everyone, everyone wishes to go back to their to their original hometown or home country and live there. هلا أنتوا لاجئين صح؟ كل واحد فيكم أكيد من بلد أجت قبل ما أهلكم يجوا على المخيم. هذا هو سؤالنا. So where where originally where's the village they're from? Okay, من وين كل واحد فيكم؟ أصلاً. أنا من دربا. دربا. Where's that? وين هاي أصلاً؟ نواحي القدس. Around Jerusalem. Okay. أنا من بيت نتيف. برضو نواحي. Around Jerusalem, Beit Natif. Beit Natif. Okay. What do they know about those villages? شو بتعرفوا عن هاي القرى؟ قرى كانوا ساكن فيها ناس هجروا. They are villages that had people that were living there, and then they were displaced. In 48. In 48. In 48. Okay. Do you know what the people did there? Did they grow? تعرفوا شو كانت الناس هناك تشتغل كان في الزراعة في التجارة. Oh, فلاحين. They were فلاحين. They were farmers. Farmers. Okay. Do you know what's there today? تعرفوا هلا إيش موجود محل؟ مستوطنات. مستوطنات. Which one? Do you know the name? Ah, which one? Mustawtanat. 
uh, settlement and there are some empty lands. Okay, so the one with the settlement, do you know the name of the settlement? No, we don't. So it's settlements in general. But I don't know what their names are. His grandfather is from Katana, but before that they were from another village. What's the name? Dawaima? Where is that? Where is Dawaima? Dawaima Qaba Al Khali. Around Hebron. Oh, around Hebron. So he's not a refugee from... 48. 48 lands. So you're 67, not 68, you're 67. Yeah, 67. Yes, 67. We are refugees from 67. Okay, what happened to the village? In, in that village? Where is it? So you saw it in the village that you were from 67. I mean, the village that you were from 67. I mean, the village that you were from 67. There's no one who lives in it. All its people have been displaced. No one is living there, but it is occupied. When was it displaced in 67? You were from 67. Yes, in 67. Okay. And what, there, you don't know what's there? Is it settler land? What's there? As far as I know, it is empty. Okay. Does he know what they used to do there? Were they, were they farmers? What did they do? أهل الدوائمة كانوا بيشتغلوا في الزراعة في التجارة. يعني معروف كانوا كلهم مزارعين يعني. It's well known that everyone used to be a farmer. Okay. The guy on the right is very interested in the car. Okay. Um, does he plan to move back there someday? Now we, now we can drive when I can meet you. Yes, for sure. Um, when I sold the lift. I sold the lift. Good. Lift to Jerusalem. Okay. Okay. So I know that we're actually what's there because Lifta actually still is there as an abandoned village. It's one of the few ones that are still exists at the entrance of Jerusalem. I'm just explaining this for the viewer. It's, you don't have to explain that to them. Um, what did they used to do in that village? What? Most of them in farming and agriculture. In their lands and agriculture. Okay, and what did they tell them they used to farm? What did they make? Produce. They used to plant everything because I went to lift them. Ah, so I saw everything. Figs, lemons, uh, almonds, everything. Okay. Does he expect to return to Lifta one day? To live there? I'm going to go to Lifta and live there. Do you expect to return to Lifta and live there? Oh, it's changed. It's changed. It's changed. It's changed. It's changed. But if things remain as they are now, no. Where are you a refugee from? Where is your village? From where are you actually? From Rafat. From Rafat. From Rafat. Where is that? From Rafat. Before they were returning. North of Jerusalem. Okay. Um, do you, what, are the, what did they do there? What do you know about the village? It's a village of farmers where they work in farming and they used to live there comfortably and well. What did they farm? Wheat. Okay. Uh, what do you know about Everything, citrus. Okay. What is there today in the same spot? What's there today? There's a place where there's a place. So what is left is the monastery, but right now there are settlements. So this was a Christian village? No, but it just had a monastery. And the people in the village sometimes worked in the monastery. Interesting. And what is the name of the Jewish place now? Of the settlement. Settlement, yeah. What is the name of the Jewish place now? I don't know. Okay. So he's from Bejala, yeah. but he's originally from Enkaram. Mm -hmm. What does he know about? Uh, has he been to Enkaram? Hal antaken fi Enkaram? Malum. Al Mori Enkaram. I was born there. Okay. Does he go back to visit? Hal betruh zur Enkaram? I'm not allowed. 
Oh, you can't get a permit? You can get a permit. No. Yeah, you can. Anyone over 55 can get a permit. Whenever they check their computer, uh, his name shows He's on the blacklist. Okay, which means he did something or they think he did something. Um, does he want to return there? I wish to. Okay. Does he, does he know if his house, if somebody's living there, if it still exists? People aren't But living in it. Families from Nazareth uh, are families. Um, and it's the city is in Karim. Uh, wait, Na if families from Nazareth are living there in his house, or they're they're so they're Arab. Uh, Yes. So the the city itself in Karim, he said, is uh, not um, deconstructed. It's still all functioning. There's still many mosques and houses of prayer. If you love what I do for the Ask Project, please consider contributing. See details in the description below. It's really appreciated. It's the only way I'm able to do this.